Good morning, my fellow analogians. My name is Mike at Filmboy24, and thanks for popping in or, or taking a peek at this. If you're brand spanking new to my channel, I primarily focus on Cinefilm, Super 8 and 16mm most of the time. I shoot, process, and scan all of my own stuff. I do it not because it's the best way to do things, but it's just what I enjoy doing. So I do it. And today it's going to be a fun one. A fun one. We have my favorite camera, my favorite little run and gun camera, my 514XL, and a roll of Vision 3 500T coupled with my favorite holiday. Again, if you're new to my channel, I like to shoot and process and scan my own film. You're not going to get lab quality results when you do everything yourself at home unless you have a home lab, a true home lab with a ton of professional equipment. But I do it because this is my golf game. This is my hobby. This is what I enjoy doing. And it's, it's a, there's a certain satisfaction in filming and then, and then extracting all of those results yourself not relying on other people. One of these days I hope to shoot a full feature film either in Super 8 or 16 millimeter and do everything myself right here in house, in house. But until that time, I'm gonna have fun experimenting. I do process and scan a lot of film for other people. If you have old found film, like old Ektachrome 160 or even Kodachrome, which usually gives you really terrible results, um, I can do that, I have to charge you a little bit, but uh, if it's found film, and it was in your camera when you bought it, and it was exposed, and you don't know what it is, then you could send it to me, and I'll process and scan it and show it right here on my channel at my discretion for absolutely nothing. You just don't get the film back. But I can send you a digital copy if you'd like. Anyway, enough of that. What I'm doing today is I'm going to talk about the movement of my hands. My favorite holiday. I, you know, I say that it's not a real holiday, but it kind of is. It's called Halloween. Have you ever heard of it? It's a spooktacular ho a holiday, and I just like it because I'm a nut for horror films. I love old-school slasher films. I like low-budget, independent uh, horror films. I love all things horror. Now, I'm a comedy guy. My brother and I, we always do comedy quotes and this and that, so I love comedies, but my heart really belongs to horror. I don't know what that was. <laughs> uh, so on Halloween, you typically I like to grab a camera, Super 8 usually, because they're easy. And when I walk around neighborhoods with my child, Rin, uh, it's easy to carry a, a small Super 8 camera with me. And for the last couple years, that's exactly what I have done. My typical go-to for a Halloween or trick-or-treat walk around is my Canon 514XL. It's super easy to use. It's super, super lightweight. And the results are usually fascinating. Fascinating. Uh, I've used tons and tons and tons of other cameras. As you guys know, I have well over 200 videos right now on this channel. So you know I've used tons of other cameras. And this is, this is kind of where, you know, where it is for me. I love Canon when it comes to cine cameras, especially Super 8. And I love Nikon when it comes to still cameras, though I have a plethora of Canon on, the, on that end as well. So what I decided to do was grab, well, what I decided to do on Halloween afternoon-ish, what I actually decided to do was grab one of my other favorite Super 8 cameras, my, my, my Namolta 401 or XL401, which... Honestly, if this thing worked to perfection and I never had any trouble with it, it would probably become my new all-time favorite run-and-gun camera. The problem with this camera is it's, it's finicky for me. This particular camera, not the model, the camera. I don't know if it needs uh, a new belts or something like that. I have not taken it apart. I'm kind of afraid to because it runs, but finicky. So I grabbed this one and I popped a roll, brand spanking new fresh from Kodak, of Vision 3 7219, that's their little model number, 500T color negative film. I put it in this camera, I walked outside and my my both of my daughters were out there and my wife and we had some friends over and they were going to walk around the neighborhood and just trick or treat and, and just have fun. So I, I 
started this camera and I ran it for, uh, I can't remember, about 20 seconds probably, 30 seconds. And it started fussing. Started fussing like a newborn. So, and when I, when I say fussing, it, it kind of then started running spotty and a little slow and it would hiccup a little bit. Which I've had issues, that very issue with this. So I took the film out, brought it back in the house, and I popped it in this old reliable camera here. And I walked around the neighborhood with this rather than this. I should turn it that way because you can see. Rather than my, my XL401 because I was going to be out for a couple hours. I didn't want to be stuck with a camera that I was just unsure if it was going to continue to work. I'm in Florida and it's really hot and humid most of the time. Uh, and, and Halloween was really not a lot different and humidity and cameras just they don't they don't play well together so anyway i took this around the neighborhood it's halloween um i am going to show you the results here in just a second i honestly don't really know why i put this lomo tank on my desk here but now that i have it up here i just want to tell you i do process my own film like i said a couple of times already this is typically what i use this is a lomo upb1 a processing tank you can process up to 50 feet continuous times two of eight millimeter super eight, 16 millimeter and 35, but I think 35 millimeter, you can only do one 50 foot length at a time. So it's two layers. I, a lot of times will use the two layers if I'm doing my own film, if I'm doing a customer film, I do one roll at a time. I don't want to take any crazy chances. Well, that's what I used for this roll of film. This is just my little closed cell foam doily. It's my insurance policy. It fits right on top there. So when I'm processing, I just make sure no little extraneous light gets in through the top. I cap the end of the hose right here with another piece of foam that I sort of tape together. And you process your film in these. I'm gonna set that down right there. When that process is done, I take that film and I hang it. I, I have some hooks in my dining room off to the side so we don't have to eat with film hanging down on our heads. But I hang it on these hooks that I made out of paper clips and a rope system that goes from uh, one ceiling point to another ceiling point. That dries my film when I'm finished. I scan everything in 2K on my, right there, Movie Stuff Retro Scan Universal Mark I unit. I did a video on that a couple of years ago. I've done videos on the Lomo too. I'll put cards to all of these videos. I'll put them up here somewhere where you can click on them. And like I say, I scanned it in 2K on that scanner and I present it to you. It is not a professional as such scanning machine. It's not a, a scan station. It's not a 6.5K ultra lab scan station scan. It's a middle of the road more of a mom and pop movie transfer service film scanner. It's, it's about 38 tiers above the Wolverine, but it's about 15 or 20 tiers below, you know, your million dollar scanner. So I'm super happy with it. I do have their 4K unit on order. Um, when and if I ever get that one, we will talk about it as well. So that's what I have. I know I blabbed a lot about the process, but I'm gonna show you what I have now. Now the beginning, up until the point where you see my dog, and you'll know when you see it, it's about 20 seconds in or so, um, the beginning was all shot with this, the, the XL401 from the dog on to the end of the film was all shot with this. I understand there's a couple of focus issues. I, I've been really kind of getting into the fast zooms and in and outs. Um, and there's a couple times where we're close up and it's a little out of focus. I gotta deal with that. Well, I'm out there running and gunning. It's dark, so when it gets really dark, it gets a little grainy. That's what happens with 500T. Everything was in auto. This is an only auto camera, aside from its electronic exposure lock. Uh, I did a video on this camera. I think I said that earlier. I will put a link to that video somewhere up here or a card. You know, you can click on it after this one. Without too much more of this, here is the Halloween special Ooh, right now.
I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out. Uh, we had a lot of fun. I, I know there, there's a couple shots of car lights. My daughter was watching it and she said, Dad, why did you film car headlights? Well, it's just because they were bright and it was pitch black out. So I just thought it would be kind of neat to see, you know, maybe some glare, whatnot, which we got a little bit of. But uh, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoy walking around with my cameras. Um, I plan on doing it, you know, some more for Christmas probably, throw another roll of 500T and try to get some Christmas lights, and I don't know, I did one a couple years ago, came out okay, but it's tough when it's really dark out, and you can't add your own light, it is very tough, this camera did a fantastic job, it does have a really dynamite bang up lens that opens up, I think to one point, yeah, 1 1.4, so it's a pretty fast little lens, and this is 500T uh, film, so we're overexposing it because this, this camera actually doesn't register 500T film. So it's not really notched for this type of film. So I think we're exposing it at about 250, which is okay because I don't mind overexposing it a little bit. This, there's so much latitude and new vision stock that, as you can see, everything auto, 500T, and a camera that's not designed for 500T came out beautiful as far as I'm concerned for you know for that purpose as far as I'm concerned it came out really well so I hope you enjoyed this as well this was a fun list a little demonstration for me from me to you and to me <laughs> if you did enjoy this do me a solid that's it right there hit the like button for me it helps just you know it you know what it does it does all the things that you're supposed to do in the YouTube world if you wouldn't mind and you think I've earned it, it would mean a lot to me. Whoa, right there. Subscribe. We do a lot of fun things. I do a found film series. I've done lots and lots. I think we're on number 61. Coming soon to a living room near you. Found film number 61. I don't know what it's going to be yet. We're going to find out snortly. And until the very next time that I see all of your beautiful faces, and it's soon... Live stream every Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern Time. There it is. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't even look. I'll see all of you on the very next go-around.